Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me Jenny and today we're gonna have another science read aloud and the read aloud for today is Miles and Miles of Reptiles and in this book we're gonna learn all about reptiles. So I'm excited to find out what's in this wonderful book. I'm the cat in the hat in my crocodile car. We're off to find reptiles wherever they are. We'll find lizards and turtles, then travel for miles to see snakes, alligators, and real crocodiles. There are thousands of reptiles. I'll show some to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. I'm sure my mom will not mind, I and mean, I'm really sure that your mom will also not mind. So let's begin in this awesome journey. Woohoo! Reptiles breed air, most lay eggs on land. Some slither, some swim, some run on hot sand. The reptiles that run on hot sand are the reptiles that are found in the deserts. Some reptiles have teeth, some reptiles have tails. All reptiles have skin that is covered in scales. Yes, so sometimes uh, people just see something that kind of looks like a reptile, but then it has like wet and moist skin so if it's like that then it's not a reptile it's an amphibian well let's see what kind of reptiles are there in this world i'm so excited to see them first let's meet some lizards count them and you'll find more lizards than all other reptiles combined so if you count all types of rep like lizards and um, if you count all the other ones there will be more lizards that's so cool Lizards have eyelids that open and close. Most lizards you'll see on each foot have five toes. Well, that's somewhat like us. We have five toes. When lizards are hungry, some things that they eat are plants, insects, snails, and other types of meat. So, this is a very nice, interesting fact about reptiles and lizards. Anyway, let's move on. There are all kinds of lizards. What would you ever think that there is a lizard known as a shrink? Whoa! This is a glass lizard. It looks like a snake. But call it a snake and you make a mistake. At first when I saw it, I thought it was a snake. But then I made a mistake. Too bad. The world's biggest lizard is here in our wagon. It can grow 10 feet long. It's a Komodo dragon. Well, it's not technically a dragon. But... Could look like one. Anyway, let's move on. Reptiles are cold-blooded, but I have been told this does not mean reptiles have blood that is cold. That is not true. Um, like Reptiles are cold-blooded, but that doesn't mean that their blood is really cold. Let's see what it means. It means that their temperature changes a lot. They get cold when it's cold and hot when it's hot. Well, we're warm-blooded and reptiles are cold-blooded. Anyway, let's move on. How do lizards get warm? Why, thank you for asking. They lie in the sun, and that's called basking. That's nice, and we call it sunbathing. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Meet my friend, the chameleon. He's hiding right there. He changes his color when danger is near. When he's scared, he turns dark and stays out of sight. But his colors turn bright when he's ready to fight. I'm going to stay a bit away from this chameleon. Anyway, let's move on. A chameleon's tail has a powerful grip. It holds on to things so it won't slip. One eye can look one way while the other looks the other. One, one eye looks at me, one eye looks at my brother. Chameleon. Chameleon. That's a nice. Now we know how to say chameleon. On the Galapagos Islands, we'll see something new. Iguanas, they're lizards, and here's what they do. They swim in the waves, and when they are done, they crawl under rocks and get warmed in the sun. Iguanas drink salt water. They have glands that strain salt from salt water, and then they sneeze the salt out from their noses again. That's a bit weird, but anyway, let's move on. These lizards are geckos. Aren't they pretty? They live in the deserts, rainforests, and city. They have pads on their feet that are perfect for gripping. They can climb up a wall, even glass without slipping. Why are they named gecko? Thing one and I know. Some chirp and squeak and it sounds like gecko. Come meet some snakes. 
When they move on the ground, their scales on their skin help them slither around. A snake's jaw is loosely attached on each side. This means it can open its mouth very wide. A snake smells with its tongue. He is showing us how. See it flick in and out. He is smelling right now. How do snakes avoid danger so they can survive? Here are some things that help snakes stay alive. Snakes may have stripes, spots, or rings on their skin. They can hide in plain sight. Their skin helps them blend in. Some, like wine snakes, can fool you and me. It looks like a wine hanging down from a tree. If you hear a rattlesnake's tail starts to rattle, it means I might bite you. So you better skedaddle. A cobra is a snake that's not very polite. And be- that is because of its poisonous bite. When it's angry, a cobra spreads out its big hood. If you see it, you know things are not looking good. Fangs hangs from its jaw and punch holes in the skin. Then a poison called venom begins to flow in. Now meet the turtles. Each one has a shell. This hard shell protects it and does so quite well. So each turtle has a shell and when the turtle wants to sleep or hide from danger, it pulls itself in, into the shell, that is. So anyway, let's move on. Turtles heat up in a nice sunny spot, then slide back into the water when they get too hot. Turtles are toothless, so they cannot chew. They swallow food whole and that's all they can do. That's a bit sad. Okay, anyway, let's just move on. Here is a tortoise. I happen to know these reptiles eat grass and moves very slow. Wait a second. Haven't we just read about this? It's called a turtle, not a tortoise. Anyway, let's find out about it. It looks like a turtle, but I understand. A turtle lives in the water, a tortoise on land. Oh, so they're from the same family. Oh dear, I didn't know that. Anyway, let's move on. About the tortoise, I discovered one thing. Each year of its life, its shell grows a new ring. So that's so cool. If we count how much rings there is in this turtle shell, then we might find out its age. Anyway, let's move on. Turtles have four legs, but a sea turtle like these have flippers to swim through the waters with ease. They lay eggs on land. And each worm somehow knows which beach she was hatched on. So that's where she goes. That's cool. So, uh, so one type of um, like one type of family goes on the same beach. So that's great. Anyway, let's move on. When the babies are hatched, their shells on their back are so soft, and they are helpless if something attacks. Guys, once I saw a movie about a tortoise and like a turtle and then most of the turtles got eaten up because they were very small and their shell wasn't protected only one survived that was sad but let's just move on we measured these babies they are so very small all these shells were just three inches long and that's all that's so small but they're so cute Anyway, let's move on. On the Florida coast, in a swamp or a lagoon, you may see a crocodile swimming by soon. Crocodiles have sharp teeth and they walk on four legs. Their feet have sharp claws. Their young hatch from eggs. There are crocs that can eat till they're filled up. And then they could be months and even years before they eat again. So, if um, that crocodile, if I ever saw a crocodile that um, has this kind of species, I would be a bit safe. But only if it has eaten full. Anyway, let's move on. Alligators and crocodiles look alike. As you see, that's because they belong to the same family, like the tortoise and turtle. We looked at them closely and here's what we saw. The gator's teeth hang over its lower jaw. Gator, croc. So, croc, it goes like zigzag, zigzag. And the gator, it's just like an upside-down triangle. Anyway, let's move on. They both live near water, and these reptiles glide by swinging their powerful tails side to side. Croc, gator. If you look at their heads like we did side by side, a croc's head is thin and a gator's is wide. So a gator's head is like 
a U shape, and a crux is a V. So anyway, let's move on. Uh, they mate in the water. Then we understand the female comes out and to lay eggs up on the land. She digs a deep nest and she lays her eggs in it, laying sixty or so, about one every minute. That is just too much. Anyway, let's move on. When the babies are hatched, this is how small they are. Each one weighs as much as thing one's candy bar. Oh my gosh, I'm so light. Anyway, let's move on. Reptiles are everywhere. Just look, you might see one down on the ground or high up in a tree. They come in all shapes and all colors and sizes, and you will discover they're full of surprises. So, guys, that's the end of today's book. I hope you guys like it, and I hope you guys learned a lot about reptiles. And please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, and click that smashing, smashing thumbs up button, and share this video. So we'll have more likes, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.